break and what to do with the kids. That is a question many Canadians ask themselves every year. Well, in southern Ontario, 70,000 kids in one week alone will pour through the doors of the Ontario Science Centre, which in itself seems like a scientific impossibility. This week, the Mercer Report follows in the footsteps of Copernicus, of Da Vinci, and the dude who invented the ball that when you put your hand on it, your hair stands on end. Okay, here I am in one of the demonstration labs, and this is David. Hello, David. Hi, Rick. Nice to see you. What are you doing there? I'm pouring some liquid nitrogen into this container. If I put my hand in there... Bad things would happen. What would happen? Would it freeze? It would indeed. Could I smash it into a thousand pieces? Yeah. And would there be a period where I didn't feel it? I'd just go, cool, and then I would drop and writhe in agony? It would hurt at first, then it wouldn't hurt, and then it would hurt. Okay, that would be science. I wanted to bring some things of my own that I could do science with, so I brought a wiener. How would we get it out? Do you have tongs? We have tongs. Okay. What is liquid nitrogen actually used for? It can be used for recycling old rubber tires. It can be used for freezing cells. What do you mean? Cells. How do you recycle old rubber tires? You freeze them solid. Then break them. Bust them up into little bits. All right, let's take out that hot dog and see what it's like. My glove is frozen. <laughs> it is. <laughs> you put it too far into it. Well, we've got others. Oh, I know that feeling. Oh. As the balloon got colder, the air molecules took up less room because they're not they're slowing down. They're not bishing the size of the balloon like they were before. I can blow up this balloon with my mind. <laughs> Oh, God. This one's a bit different. It's filled with something different. What's it filled with? Carbon dioxide. <laughs> this balloon is filled with carbon dioxide gas instead of just regular room air. Yes. So if you want to see something kind of neat. Sure, I do. Take those scissors. OK. Right What's that? I don't know. What is it? Dry ice. Oh! Solid carbon dioxide. Because carbon dioxide... You and your science! It's neat. It's dry ice. Yeah. Ta-da! Science! <laughs> Hello, Ryan. Nice to see you. And you have a bit of a show here about birds of prey. <laughs> what is that? This is Sasquatch, our 23-year-old uh, golden eagle. Wow. You are something else. That is really impressive. How often does the eagle poop? Uh, every time we bring them out, usually. Oh, really? Yeah. Because <laughs> of, like, performance anxiety? Uh, no, they're just doing that uh, to lighten the load, we call it. Yes, so, that's uh, what I call it, too. Yes, is coming. There he comes. So just hold on to that swivel there. Hi! He's like an Irish dancer. Can I be in your show? Because yeah. I'm a showman. <laughs> yeah, so just let go of the swivel there. OK, OK. There we go. Good boy, Sam. God almighty, imagine seeing that coming out. And we're here today working on behalf of the Science Center to teach you guys about birds of prey. Okay, this is why you shouldn't bring food into a theater. Just watch. Let's see if we can entice him a little bit more. There he comes. All right, let's give Phoenix and Rick a big round of applause. Yeah! So this is Gonzo, and Gonzo is a great horned owl. His eyeballs are so gigantic, they're actually fixed in the socket. Well, touch the face. I just got an owl in the face. This is Franklin the turkey vulture. They've only been here for the last 40 years or so because they migrated out of the rainforests of South America. And what they have been doing is following our highways. Why does a turkey vulture like the highway? Roadkill. Kind of looks like Rex Murphy. <laughs> Now this is very cool. This, of course, is the Avro Arrow. This represents the, the pinnacle of innovation in Canada's aerospace industry. And as part of this display, every hour, an actor dressed as Diefenbaker walks in and takes the arrow and throws it in the air. 
What's the science here, Michaela? Oh, the science here is conquering our fears. You're uh -huh. using conflicting parts of your brain. Okay. One is telling you to be afraid, and the other one is trying to convince you that this is a good idea. Okay. I think this is a good idea. Yeah. Let's because see. you're here, and I'm wearing a harness, which is awesome. I'm pretty sure this is safe. Yeah. Am I supposed to hold on here? Yeah, if you want to. A lot of people like to hold Why don't I have a big stick? Boy. I really don't think I would live long in the circus at this rate. I have new respect for squirrels, I'll give you that. Nothing can go wrong, just watch. <laughs> See? See, that made them go, ooh. That's the circus in me. Yes, officer, I'm good to drop. <laughs>